Visa, innovation that excites. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Yellow Jackets know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Makes the grab past the marker. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's tackled at the 40. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over-pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. Got it, and brought down immediately. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Douglas is back deep to return the punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Taken down around the 33-yard line. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's immediately tackled. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. And he throws it away. Fires a bullet out to the right. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. What a play. Knocked out of bounds, and that's going to be first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. 
and he converts the extra point. A five-play, 81-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Seminoles are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Here's the give. He's to the 40. He finally goes down at the 48-yard line. You love having this kind of weapon. You already know what kind of damage he can cause in the passing game. And here you can see what he can do when you hand the ball off to him. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. And off up the middle. Lost the ball, fumble! So the ball will change hands and it'll be first down. This guy is about as sure-handed as they come, but fumbles do happen. And you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Makes a grab and steps out right away. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. Florida State is up seven. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. They're about four yards away here on second down. Big opening. He's pushed out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's on the run. And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. They get nice yardage on that run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Touchdown, Florida State. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Florida State's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. They need to show a little giddy-up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 23. Tackle around the 21-yard line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. quickly and that was almost picked nice job getting a hand on that one yeah really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense Douglas back to return it he's at midfield and they push him out at the 42 yard line Seminoles really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. So they set the safety on the blitz, and he'll get credit for the sack. Nobody was left to pick him up. He disguised the blitz very well and really made a nice play on the quarterback. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Brought down at the 45. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Tackle made right around the 36 yard line. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kick is away. It's long enough. And it hits the upright. No good. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Quick throw. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Makes it out to about the 43. Second down, three yards to go. Ball on the 36. Here's an opening. It's a fumble. Defense says they've got it, and they do. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. It's 
going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken off. Decides to slide. From their own 30-yard line, it's first down. Over the middle to his tailback. They bring him down in the backfield. Second down at 12. Ball on their own 28. And he's met immediately. He's under some heat. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Shelley awaiting the return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Shelley takes it to 25, and down he goes at the 30-yard line. The Seminoles have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in the football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Five wide. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. So at the end of one quarter, FSU leads it 14 0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He makes his way to about the 28. From the 28-yard line, first down. He's on the run. And he's leveled at the 26-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He lets it go. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. Two-score game, and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. down after a nice run up the middle. Here's the eighth play of the series. Kill, kill, kill. 
tackled for a loss. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. So they go to the air and they come away with six, Kirk. And Brad, I gotta tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Florida State is up by a touchdown. He laterals. Nice run there. Williams comes away with five yards there on the speed option from the quarterback. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Carries the ball for a nice game. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. And he throws it away. goes out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Shelley is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled right around the 30. Tackle at the 41. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. He's going to try and scramble. And he can't get away from the pressure. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. There he 
he goes. Makes it out to about the 46. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Douglas is back awaiting the punt. And here's the, wait a minute, the upbacks got it. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. And they'll take over on downs. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Florida State is up seven. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. From their own 49-yard line, second down. And down he goes at about the 49. didn't appear to be in sync on that series. The defense decided to go conservative sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. Right now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Georgia Tech's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points on Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. And he tackles him hard at the 12. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Quick throw. Tackle around the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. First down. He scrambled. He decides to run with it. Good open field tackle. And he is drilled at the 42. the 42 yard line it's first down quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts caught with room to work and he hits him hard at the 37 
left, and he's brought down quickly. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Under pressure. Rose, and it's knocked away. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up. And it's wide right. No good. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida State is up a score. And he throws it away. From their own 37-yard line, second down. And that one's incomplete. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. down around the 45 yard line oh my what a run on third down still a foot or two away that's unfortunate you run all that way make the right moves to put you in position to get a first down then it comes down to just a couple inches knocked out of bounds around the 23 yard line momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. From their own 33-yard line. First down. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. Tries to buy some time. He's at the 40. Slides down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's at the 20. Nice play to set up first and goal. He's scrambling. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. The defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Georgia Tech is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 30. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. A five-yard gain. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. 
from the 42 yard line. First down. Passes to his tailback again. And he's taken down at the 42 yard line. So at the end of the half, we're deadlocked right now at 14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These two teams have matched each other blow for blow, just as we anticipated very evenly matched. Hardly any separation to speak of in terms of momentum or yardage gained or anything of that nature. So when you look at it, uh, what can make the difference coming up in the second half? Uh, we see so many matchups, Reese, that's big box car, little box car. You know, this is big box car, big box car, and they just keep ramming into each other and nobody's given an inch and it's it's great on both sides of the football and you like what you see but at some point i think who's going to give out you know who can make a big play make that big play down the field make the big touchdown and, and get the other team off balance a little bit maybe it is special teams maybe it's somebody steps up and blocks a punt or returns a kick and and gives their team an advantage because right now it's just two heavyweights trading punches and, and both of them still look like they're in pretty good shape. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. Hill from the one. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And they make the stop around the 50-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. He's brought down in the open field. That'll make it second and inches. They'll spread the field with five wide. Williamson gets a handoff to the right, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. Fires out to his wideout, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. on the corner gets out to around the 25 first and 10 ball on the 25 yard line makes his way out to about the 15 He gets out to about the 15-yard line. 
This is the eighth play of this drive. He makes it to the 15-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Third and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled at the 11. They got four yards on that one. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Florida State is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's on the run. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Gets to about the 37-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Scrambling. Tackle right around midfield. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Scrambling around. Brought down at about the 43 yard line. Third down again. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's going to try and scramble. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and been able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Slings it out there incomplete. From the 39-yard line, second down. He scrambled. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. And 
and he's going to come up with a sack. You know, the offensive line really let the quarterback down there. They've got to do a better job of communicating against the blitz. It's one thing to pick up a blitz, but you also have to obviously pick up your defensive lineman. That time, a miscommunication, and the result is a sack. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Douglas is back deep to return. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Florida State holds a field goal lead. Gets to about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Very good tackle in space. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's gobbled up in the backfield. is it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. They'll get him for a loss. Florida State has a three-point lead. Inside the 10, gains his way to the seven-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets out to around the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 35. Brought down in the open field. They 
spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Haynes gets a carry left side, and they got him for a loss. From their own 36-yard line, third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick pass. He's tackled in the open field. And this one is a beauty. Gets out to about the 21. That's the end of three quarters to play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. 24-14, FSU. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 19. And they'll run him again. And he's tackled after positive yardage. and they can't connect. Shelley, the return man. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Brought down at the 45-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Over the middle to his tailback. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Here's the give. He's tackled around the 43 yard line. That brings us third and 12. the screenplay. He's taken down at the 48. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. And they'll take over on downs. We're about set to start things up again. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Second and seven. Ball on the 42-yard line. Pitches back. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it third and three.
gains his way to the 20 yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. From the 20 yard line, first down. He's scrambling. Sheds that one, and he's taken down at the 18. On the throw, incomplete pass. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Kicks away. And he's got it. Florida State to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out of the field? Of course, they went for it on fourth down. Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all of these games and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal or a punt. From their own 37-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. the 39-yard line. It's first down. Nice run to the outside. the 34-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Here they come. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. It's second and 11. Ball on the 25-yard line. He laterals the ball. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. He got the ball, and he was gone. And let me add one thing. The offensive line deserves some credit here. I mean, they opened up a huge hole for him to run through.
And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Florida State with a six-point lead. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Side run there. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. First and 10, ball on the 43 yard line. down at the 46 yard line Williams gets three yards on the play from their own 46 yard line it's second down and down he goes around the 45 yard line those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run but they need to be careful to play action pass you can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air tackle made at the 41 yard line that is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. From the 41-yard line, first down. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. just stepped up and made the biggest play of the game. Just a huge interception. From the 33-yard line, first down. Just under two minutes in the game. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. And the offense will recover. The spike will stop the clock. Throws and it's incomplete. Fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Accepted. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Tries to get around the corner. There he goes. 
He's at the 40. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 31. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. They'll work the left side. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Under a minute left. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From the 26-yard line, third down. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. And the ball game's over. The Seminoles get the victory. 27-21. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.